Keep an eye on what the eagle has in its talons. Guess who's coming to be dinner? That's a baby red-tailed hawk the bald eagle is clutching. I was really actually nervous thinking, oh no, I'm going to have to watch death. But instead, Pam McCartney was in for a treat as she watched the live stream of this eagle cam in British Columbia, Canada. Instead of being eaten, as hawks usually are by eagles, this baby hawk on the right of your screen got adopted by the eagles. And then the next day, Mama started feeding the hawklet because it started peeping, saying like, beep, 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 feed me, <laughs> feed me, Mom. The eagle brought other dead birds and fed the hawk, and the gray baby eagle, already in the nest, also shared food with the hawk, like semi-siblings. They cuddle up and, like, they, beep, 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 they touch beaks. The mom and the dad eagles come and go. Almost three weeks after the hawk's arrival, both young birds are flapping their wings, sometimes getting whacked in the process. For Pam, it's turned out like a Disney movie where all the species intermingle. Hello. Hello, man. Hello, little <laughs> friend. Soon this little prince will learn to fly and leave the nest. Talk about a blended family. It gives me delight, it gives me joy, it gives me hope. <laughs> Eagles have been known to care for hawks before, but it's rare, as the wise owl says. This is quite an occasion. And when Mama Eagle brought those other creatures to dine on, this hawk with his bird brain probably wasn't thinking, hey, that could have been me. Genimos, CNN, New York. call it global climate change, and it is, but it affects each of us, no matter where we live, in your city, your town, or your farm, climate change is having its effect. The more people we are on the planet, the less resources there are for each of us. In my lifetime, we've eradicated two-thirds of wildlife on planet Earth, almost like a mind-boggling scale of loss of life. The Colorado River is drying up. We use and discard so much plastic into the world that it finds its way into our food chain. Joshua Tree National Park. In the next century, all of this could disappear. Sounds grim? Well, it kind of is. I want to build a compost site and help that community stand on their feet. That's what compost power is about. It's about just giving the power to the people. I think, really, we are in the situation that Noah was in. And the question now is, what can we save? How else can I give back? How else can I make my energy matter? We as tribal people, we're very dedicated to our homeland. If we can live in harmony with nature, then we are able to harness nature for these paradigm-shifting solutions. We need to preserve our soil. I mean, the good news is we can build it. Only what you love would you protect, and only what you learn about can you come to love.